Hello, welcome to my workshop. My name is Chris Pine. Today's video is going to be about a project that I have been looking forward to for a very long time. I became aware not long ago of a company called CB Giddy Crafter Supply. If you do a Google search, you'll find them. They sell all kinds of parts and kits to make cigar box guitars, cigar box ukuleles, and different instruments. I'm not a musician, but my son is. He likes to play the ukulele, and that's what we're going to be building on this video is this. This ukulele that's made from a cigar box. Let's go ahead and get started. I've cleaned off the insides of one side here of the cigar box so that it's exposing the wood of the box. All the paper I removed with a, an old chisel and some sandpaper. And now I'm going to glue this block into the box uh, per the instructions. I cut this piece to fit. What I did next was on the same end where I put this reinforcing block in, I put some uh, blue painter's tape just so that I could trace on it rather than on the box. And then you get the middle point on your box and the middle point on the neck piece and you line that up. And then I very simply just traced on uh, the tape with a pencil uh, where that will be positioned. And the next step is to drill three holes uh, in the area where the neck will go. What I'm going to do next is uh, install the screws from the inside of the box until they protrude on the outside just a little bit so that I can mark uh, the drilling place on the neck uh, to drill the hole so it'll receive the screws. You have three screws that are included in the kit and there's two longer ones and one shorter one and that will line up accordingly uh, the two longer being on the top side and then the bottom will get the shorter one. Okay I'm going to install the neck onto the box here and see how that fits. I've drilled the holes and lined those up. I've got them protruding from the box just a little bit. Get them all three started. Okay, so those are all tightened down. What I'm getting ready to do now is to install the bridge bracing block is what it's called. It's just another piece of wood that will be glued onto the lid on this portion of it. I have cut away the paper and sanded this area smooth so that it will receive glue. And What I'm preparing to do now is to install this part. The dark part here is called the bridge and this white uh, they call it white bone. I don't know if it's literally bone, but uh, this is where the strings will go over when it's stringed up. Uh, I've already installed this white piece into the saddle, the bridge into the saddle. Uh, that took a little bit of effort. This is a very snug fit. It recommends that you just do a press fit in there. So I had to sand both pieces a little at a time to get a very snug fit. I also put a little rub on uh, just rub some varnish on last night onto the piece and it's dry now and ready to install.
It is now time for me to cut the sound hole in the cigar box. And traditionally, uh, the this would go here, and the sound hole would be right here, box. Uh, in reading up on the CB Giddy website, the company that sells this kit, they said the sound hole is largely uh, personal preference. So rather than ruin my picture here, Romeo and Julieta, cigar box. I want to keep that intact. So they had some products on their website also. These grommets and they have a screen on them if you can see and that's kind of neat. So I bought some of these and I'm going to drill three holes approximately here I've marked for them and I'm going to put these grommets in there and that will serve as the sound hole. As you see I changed my mind on the location of the holes from along the bottom here to across this end. That was due to the fact that the blocking that is behind these areas, this end would have interfered with the three locations I had here. So I had to take that into consideration. I just changed it a little. It is time for me to start thinking about and making some decisions on how I'm going to install the fretboard on the neck. They give you one option is to glue this on, leaving room for this piece called the nut on the top here and then just cutting this end off as you can see it overhangs the the neck piece here now I originally thought I was just gonna leave this on and let this overlap onto the cigar box portion however where I drilled my sound holes and put the grommets that will no longer work so I could make a decision here and I could cut it just a little short and let it hang over or I could drill some holes to round this so that it fits around the sound holes at this point I think I'm going to do what the suggest the instructions suggest and just cut this where it needs to be cut and then glue this onto the neck okay we're going to install the tuners now as you see I have one that's already installed these tuners are come in a configuration like this and they have a screw here that you take out and then there's a lot of little pieces so you have to be very careful uh, when you're installing this this is the top of the tuner goes in like this then you have a star washer then you have this collar be careful there's a plastic piece that likes to fall out on the floor <laughs> when you install it then your thumb knob white plastic piece here uh, thumb handle and then there's a screw that you screw on I have my little screwdriver here all right there's one decorative corner just seven more to go what a fun project this was I got the strings all strung and I got him tightened a little bit it actually sounds a little bit like a ukulele and uh, my son, I'm sure, will be excited to get this. And hopefully he'll be able to play something on it. Uh, like I said, I'm not a musician. But I have a lot of people in my family who are. So I hope he'll enjoy this. And I sure have enjoyed making it. What a fun kit this was. What a fun project this was. Never had one lesson. Thanks for watching today. This was a very fun project. I know my son's going to really enjoy this. And uh, it actually sounds pretty good, even though I can't play it. I will look forward to my son uh, doing some music on it and maybe even get some sound of that. I don't know. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all your support. If you are not a regular on my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to. And that way you won't miss any future videos. For those of you who have been subscribers and supporters of the channel for a very long time. I appreciate it so very much. Thank you. God bless. We'll see you next time.